here. Today we're unboxing a shower screen for a shower bath. So this one is 800 wide by 1500 tall. The average height of these things generally is 1400. But we're trying out the 1500 one. So let me open up the box and I'll show you what's in the packaging. I've opened up the packaging. Um, seems okay. A lot of the fixtures are quite well built. You know, so like these sort of connectors for the screen to the actual edge. Very solid construction, solid brass, I guess. Uh, the handle, nice chrome, good finish to it. So let's have a go at fitting this and I'll show you what it's like fitting it. So the first thing we want to do is get the wall bracket fitted. So the inside bit actually had another component to it, which I've pulled out. So let's just lean that against the wall. And then this one holds on the inside of the bath side. We just need to line up in the bath, get a spirit level, drill three holes, top, middle and bottom, and then just screw it in securely. So let me carry on and do that first. Okay, we've done the three holes just there. But what we're going to do, which hasn't got any instructions, we're just going to run a bead of silicone along here, just to give it an extra bit of a seal, you know, more towards the bottom, really. Um, so that's where a lot of the time the water will sort of congregate. So let me get the bead on and I'll screw it straight onto the wall. Okay, there we have the silicone on there now. Just a thin bead on there, so once you push it, it should spread out. So let me secure that in place. Okay. So we have the um, the initial bracket screwed in tightly and level as well. I can show that. Yep, so I'll move on to the next stage. Just to, I don't know if I can show, little bits of silicon did come out which is perfect, so it just gives that extra bit of seal really. So we've got a screen on the floor here and the strip that came out of the bracket. Looking at the instructions, we need to grab one of these metal sort of hinge type things and then obviously attach like this and then just screw in and there's another clip that just covers it, just like so, just over that. So let me get that fitted on and then we're nearly ready to actually install it. Okay, so top and bottom points are secured on there now. Looks like it gives some sort of um, lifting mechanism when you move it, so, so good, can give a tight seal. So next thing, we're just going to put the, the handle on. That's quite a straightforward one. If I show the actual fixtures. So like a rubber washer, metal piece, then obviously just screw. One goes to one end, that sits on top, and then it just screws onto that. So let me get that fitted next. Okay, so the screen's in place at the moment. It just needs to be screwed down, just to show. Um, really a two person job but I'm doing it with a bit of cardboard just to hold it in place. I've got my spirit level here. Looks spot on. So I'll just drill the other side just to secure it in place. Just for safety reasons, best to get two people really, but I'm managing okay. Okay, I've got one screw in. I've screwed the other two holes. Three locations have been drilled, one screw's in. But for the other two screws, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a little bit of silicon just around it, uh, just to give an additional seal. And just there as well. So literally clear silicon just there, and then I'll screw it on. All three, three screws are tightened, and just to show the mechanism, 
it rises and then it lowers. It's quite good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit more silicon on the actual screws and then put the caps over them, you know, just firmly secure them and seal. Okay, so the silicon's done around the screen, just to show. So I've done that and that area. This one was a bit messy, but I've managed to clean it up okay. And obviously all around here. So, there you go. It's fitted, just to show you. Looks great, good solid feel to it. Even put the rubber seal at the bottom. There you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this and fitting it. So there you go, thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.